Oh, I may be able to- I may just be about to drop a bomb on you. Damn it, I can't do it this turn. I, instead, I'm gonna pay three. I'm paying three to cast the Free Wind Equinot. Okay. Who I can't fucking enchant once again. And then, I'm gonna use my Stun Sniper. Okay. Pay one. Tap the Sniper, deal one damage to your Gorhorn Minotaurs, and tap yep. it. Hell yeah. So now you're open. And because you're open, I get to swing into you for seven. Yep, bring me down to five. Dear God. We're coming to the climactic climax. Okay, then. Yes, we are. Anyway, Land, uh, uh, Land of War Reborn, which comes into uh, comes into play with a one one counter, and then I will nice. spend three in order to class in order to cast the troll aesthetic, and I will move my one one counter from Land of War Reborn onto my troll aesthetic. Nice. Huh. Very cool. I can kill the Equinot, but that's all I got. Right, your deadly oh, yeah, reckless dead. does okay, have reach. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to attack, really. There's no point. I, I could in theory deal approximately five damage, and then I'm dead to thirteen. So, son of a, mm. that is that is wicked inconvenient right there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stun sniper again. Pay one, tap it. Deal one damage to Gorhard Minotaur and tap okay. it. Okay. Um, so I count four creatures on my board and you have three. And I have, I'm sitting on lots of life points right now, which means that I'm going to try to force this game into the ground. Swinging for nine. Okay. I'm going to use Two of that recluse, damage is in the air. Uh, uh, to block your, uh, yeah, I'm going to use Deadly Recluse to block the... Uh, the Equinaut, and I'm going to use Troll Aesthetic. <sighs> Block the Armory Guard. You, well, you do have mana to regenerate, which means you could yeah. you could block the beast token. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block the beast token and then I regenerate, so nothing happens there. And then I'm gonna block the Armory Guard uh, with uh, uh, my Blood Ogre. Okay, so, uh, that's a lot of shit that just happened, so, before, before I, before I advance the phase and get rid of all these very useful arrows, I see during the resolution, Deadly Recluse is gonna kill the Free Wind Equinot, mm -hmm. Free Wind Equinot is gonna kill the Deadly Recluse, so those will die, the Beast Token is dead, Troll Aesthetic is tapped and removed from combat for the rest of the turn, And then the blood ogre is dead. Now get your now get your two two griffin. Oh wait, that's right. That was griffin guide, not the equinot. Okay. Precisely. And you also take two damage from the unblocked armory yep. guard. Okay. And we have successfully applied resolution. I'm gonna end my turn now. Okay. You have three life points left. And I got a mountain. You see, this is why Damn. I need some mana sinks. For real. Or just... I mean, you're running green... Oh, uh, right. Green's not very good at drawing cards. No. Green... Never mind. Uh, uh, I mean, I have a lot of creatures, so I have a lot of relatively big creatures, so if I had a, a slightly different uh, uh, green uh, enchant package, uh, that would be nice, but no. Anyway, I end. You're going to end your turn. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if I can... Still no, huh? Well, I can drop the big boy here. All right, here comes my boy, paying six. Paying six to cast the Sun Titan. All right, so are you going to return your Equinaut? Because your Equinaut's a three. Right. Okay, well, does, does it have to be exactly three or is it's it three, three or, less? or less? Yeah, it's three or less. And that's why this card will continue to be reprinted until the end of time. No, Sun Titan's well, not, got, not gotten a reprint. Uh, this effect has gotten reprints over and over again, but I don't think Sun Titan itself has gotten re reprinted in, like, what, five years or more? 
Hell, I yeah. don't think any of the uh, of the M uh, uh, of the M Classic Titans got, uh, have seen any re significant replants, except for maybe Inferno. And that's because Inferno is just oh, one of the weakest ones. Honestly, it lo it looks like the move is to bring the figure of Destiny back in onto the board. Okay. Because I can always I I can always just bring back the other guys later because Sun Titan also triggers when he attacks. He yeah. just can't do it this turn because he has summoning sickness. Uh, okay, now I have spent all of my mana. I'm gonna go into combat and I'm gonna swing into you for five. Okay. Um, I am going to have my Gorehorn Minotaurs block your armory guard, and my Troll Aesthetic uh, will block the um, the sun the stun sniper. Interesting, interesting move there. Okay, so you're opting to take more damage. Because you're blocking a power one creature instead of blo instead of blocking a power two creature, B both of my block creatures are dead, and then you take two damage from the unblocked armory guard, so you're down to one life point. Yep. And I will end my turn. Okay. Uh, Minos, please. That is not Minos, but it is my it is my favorite spell. It is my favorite spell in the deck. So. I hope it's a powerful one. Actually, it is extraordinarily powerful. All right. Uh, I'm going to swing out. Okay. You're swinging for five and four. Yep. Damn, dude. Fucking damn. Okay. I'm going to declare the figure of destiny as a blocker on the Gorehorn Minotaur. Okay. And that's all the creatures I'm blocking with. Damn. All right. So, a figure of destiny is dead, and you take four damage. Mm, you One, see, Cloud, two, the hope three, was that you would. Uh, the hope was that you were going to actually block uh, any, uh, either of my creatures with Sun Titan. God, God damn it, Gerda! Pray, pray upon his sorcery. I speed. am. In, I'm in post combat <laughs> main phase. Well, are you are you casting it? Yes, I'm casting it. Huh. I w I'm resolving the play I wanted to do. I wanted to kill the Sun Titan with Prey Upon. Well, dude, so you, so you're, you're basically, you're basically admitting defeat at this oh, point. Oh, dude, I lost four fucking turns ago. Okay, because, <laughs> because you, you, sw you have no blockers. I have two creatures in play. You might, you might have another. Oh, what do you call it? Uh, you might have another terrifying presence. Oh wait, no, you don't have any cards in yeah, your hand. Yeah, so nothing. you're you're boned at this point. Yeah, I've got prey upon in my hand. That's it. So, well, your troll ascetic is about to take six damage. Would you like to regenerate it so that it doesn't die this there. time? Okay, you regenerated it. Good move. See, even when you're losing, that does not necessarily mean there are no good moves. Okay, now I'm going to see how I can. Spin? I'm going to see how I can maximize the pain this turn. You shouldn't be able to do more than nine, though. Oh, I can just kill you with this magma jet. Deal two damage to any target. Oh, that would have been no, that would have been eight too. <laughs> uh, sorry, that would have been ten. Yeah. It's the I could have done that during the fucking upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm going. Oh no, I couldn't because I draw first. Uh, main main phase then. Yeah. Okay, you lose. <laughs> okay then. Woo. It is good to be back in Magic: The Gathering, even uh, even if we're playing with it a kind of crappy decks. And let me be let me They're be not that crappy. Let me be clear about this: the decks themselves are not actually all that crappy once you get once you get used to them. They're very well matched against each other specifically. But God, <sighs> okay. The big reason why I wanted to show off this deck is because it has what is what I believe is the wor the literal worst Hydra ever printed aside from Rock Hydra, and Rock Hydra doesn't count because you know it was uh, printed during a time when Hydras didn't exist yet. So, yeah. where is it? Where are you, Poli? Poli, there you are, Roly Poli. Polokranos, the World Eater. Look at how cool this artwork is. Right. No, that is the Monstrosity entire reason that I'm X. running this deck because because I, I want because uh, I wanted to sit here and complain about Poli because a Polychronos, despite the fact that it actually has got a really interesting monstrosity effect, will never kill anything with it, and and if it does kill anything with it, is going to die when it does so. 
I mean, in general, double X costs are pretty bad, and you shouldn't use cards that have double X costs. Yeah. Uh, uh, thematically speaking, I actually really like a lot of the stuff that's in uh, that's in this. We uh, uh, there's I didn't get the cast creator Hel creator Hellion, but it was in my hand. Same with uh, conquering Minotaur. Uh, you got the Seder Hedonist. Ooh. You got the Sakan Firebird. You got the Sakan Skybreaker. You got the Crows and Tusker. Uh, Kabu Predator. Like a lot of the deck is honestly built uh, built of interesting one ofs, and I like the, and I like it when we actually have uh, interesting one ofs uh, going around. Also, I've got Pyroclasm. Wow. -ha. Hell yeah. Um. To, so yeah, I like the deck construction here because it feels like you know a bunch of random shit that someone would just throw together after farming Theros for a month because it's like hey. We got we got some decent we got some decent theming here and the theming here is actually really good, but I don't think that the payoffs here are honestly all that great because without fires of Yavimaya, uh, conquering Minotaur is the actual boss of the deck and Pol and uh, Poli is terrible. Uh, Crater Hellion is actually a really is a is a pretty good payout, but you're not you're not likely to get the six uh, with this deck. Not because it can't get there, because it actually has two copies of the Valley Ramet, which it can use uh, for land psyching, which I screwed up uh, during game two on. But I like I like playing with this deck. I don't think it's actually all that powerful. And it's very well matched up against your deck, though, because as you mentioned, despite the fact that this is, uh, that this is heroes and monsters, you have one heroic card and I have one monstrous card. The, this deck is honestly gruel blood. <laughs> this deck is honestly gruel bloodthirst. Is what is what uh, most of this is. That's that is a very astute observation. Is that if there's one thing that makes our decks equal, is that they are both equally unimpressive in the representation of the keywords that is the premise of their respective builds. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, so how did you like playing with yours? I, I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad I walked into this with the correct mindset. Is to just just be prepared to start early and keep ramming my opponent until they're dead. Dude, no, if you had um, actually played Nobil Nobilis of War, I'd be like, all right, that's why Boros always wins. <laughs> yeah, on honestly, these high drop cards are. I mean, they're they're good. I mean, the sun the sight the Sun Titan has a pretty as a pretty. Um, awesome looking reprint I believe that came out around 2020 just to show that it continues to be relevant even in the modern game even though it's too fucking expensive these high drop cards are a moot point at best I you you don't have to get six mana in order to kill your opponent with this deck hell you hardly have to get a total of four mana on the table in order to kill your opponent maybe four so you can You'd like five to be perfectly honest but maybe um, well, Nobilis of War is a five drop. I didn't draw into that. The thing, the, the thing that defeats this deck is its lack of ability to produce cards, not from the graveyard, but from the deck. And then for the record, we both have, we both have draw problems, but. Yeah, that we do, that we do. And then, uh, I mean, it does reinforce that it is, they, these are well matched up decks that not one is necessarily going to win every single game. Although. Well, what 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 do you what do you think? Which which of these decks in general is is the superior? Deck? Oh, it's heroes, like totally. You think it's heroes, dude? You've got Sun Titan. I don't even I don't even think I've got Inferno Titan. Well, you got you got an Avatar though. I mean, we both yeah, have but your avatar an Avatar is twice in the deck. As good as mine is, like, where where is your uh, Avatar? Deus of Calamity. Where are you? Yeah, your Avatar gives uh, give, uh, gives you an attacking Lord buff. Mine has to hit something in order to kill a land. Yeah, and and it has to be. It has and it has well, to deal uh, six or more damage on its own. And I don't think I have any uh, enchantments aside from Yavi, uh, Yavi Maya. I mean, uh, Dragon's yeah, Blood yeah. would allow me mm. to pump it up, certainly, but it still has to effectively go unblocked in order to, in order to get that effect off. Your nobil no, your nobilis of war makes all of your creatures better Pegasi. So, right. And it can also buff itself up so that when it attacks, it's a fucking... It's a 5-4 with flying. It is a it is a pants shitter. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to arrange this particular array of cards to show the deck's preoccupation with Annex and Siamede's ability to apply heroic to the 
I don't know, two or three or four other creatures you have in play, this deck does not generate creature tokens. Right. That is a massive glaring omission for a deck that derives on the strength of attacking with a combined force, not just one or two creatures at a time. Uh, I don't... I, 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 look, I <laughs> grant that Annex and Siamese works better uh, works better with, uh, with large forces, you know, in an actual constructed environment. But here... I honestly think uh, it's it's more or less here to you know be the recipient of these buffs. Like you put, it is. like if you put Annex and Simeon out relatively early with a Battle Mastery on, all of a sudden you've got a you've got a uh, a uh, four three double striker with vig with vigilance and first strike uh, for that turn. Correct, because Annex and Siamid buffs itself when it's targeted with an enchantment or or a sorcery or instant that targets only one creature. Yeah. That fucking battle mastery, dude. Just I, I I'm roll I'm rolling my eyes that I had to win a game using battle mastery. <laughs> uh, dude, come on! I, you, you lost a, against me when I was using battle mastery. I don't I don't, I don't hate battle mastery. I think that bat because battle mastery is the best card in my deck. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know about best card in your deck, but it's certainly up there. Hmm. Well. I, I think I think we I think we're just about looking at the ideal boards for each of these decks, respectively. We do have a decent number of cards like your um, like your Ceratops that will apply a field of effect to your creatures depending on the board state. That the syner the synergy the sy the synergistic strategies of these two decks, respectively, is well noted. Now putting together the board that makes these synergies work again you got to be able to draw cards and neither of these decks are very good at drawing cards do you have anything with cycling because i've got crows and tusker for for cycling but i think that's literally it i have zero cycling in this okay. deck so and all and that's another good point is opening opening game consistency did you get the correct mana did you get the correct number of creatures to start with all right, but it's too bad that a lot. Yeah, a lot of your cards are wicked expensive, dude. Oh yeah, I have you know I've got a bunch of um, a a bunch of ways to cheat out mana. Uh, to be perfectly honest, but even then, uh, I can't. Uh, I have to both cheat out mana and get the card uh, the correct cards in hand. Uh, and the deck only really wants to do one of the two things at a time. Right. All right. So. This has been us uh, exploring the Heroes vs. Monsters matchup. Um, next time, it will be Cloud's turn to pick out what we're doing. So, uh... Hell yeah. I, I like these decks thematically. They're well paired up against each other, but they are pretty goddamn terrible outside of, the, uh, outside of this limited exploration. <laughs> mm, Kabu Predator's got a great artwork, too. <laughs> great artwork's noted. Alright, everyone. Uh, be safe. And yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Be good now.